Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to have this uh, opportunity to show our project. Uh, I'm going to show about uh, uh, our project uh, related to the next generation supercomputer L&D project, uh, which includes uh, grand challenges in life science. Uh, we, we have uh, six teams in life science uh, grand challenges. One of the team is uh, uh, the uh, research team for uh, related neuroinformatics. This uh, this photograph show uh, shows a bird the sunset time uh, of the uh, just a building in front of the Pedal Computer Center. Uh, you see uh, this object have uh, 10, uh, how do I say that, uh, 10 small uh, segments, uh, not, not 10, 16. Uh, this indicates uh, the digit to the 10 to the 16th uh, means 10 petaflops. So we are going to develop the supercomputer uh, whose performance is 10 petaflops. Uh, and uh, we, we are developing and deploying usage technology, including application software especially in life science and nanotechnologies. Uh, this project was uh, believed to be the Japan's key technology of national importance uh, before last year. Uh, there's a tragedy uh, <laughs> at our project that the new government uh, decided to freeze uh, the project uh, last November, but we recovered from such disaster. So currently we are con uh, continuing to develop the supercomputers. The project started uh, 2006. Uh, it's five years from now. The total budget is about uh, 150 billion yen. Uh, about uh, 1.2 billion US dollar, uh, but uh, today's exchange rate of N and dollar, maybe <laughs> this is much more uh, increasing now. This is a, a schedule of the project. Uh, we are here uh, in 2010. Machine is all already uh, running at the factory, uh, and uh, compiler and the other system software are currently ongoing to develop. The two uh, application area uh, software development are currently going on. The building has been already uh, fixed, finished, uh, but uh, from, from coming fall, uh, we will have first launch of the uh, chassis of the new supercomputer will be installed in, in the building. So currently, we do not have any a supercomputer yet at the building. Uh, we only have PC or Mac in the building. Then all computers will be uh, filled with a fill in the floor uh, at the end of uh, financial year 2011. So it means uh, about April 
2012. In next year, we we will be able to use the uh, the machine in Patri from April. The target of those uh, at that machine is showing here the wide range of application area from cosmic analysis uh, to global climate change, nanoscience, and life science. We have developed a benchmark suite uh, composed of 21 cores, six cores from nanoscience and six cores from life science. Uh, the percentage of the six is very much high uh, compared to the other conventional uh, application area of supercomputer. So we regarded that uh, uh, life science uh, simulation or uh, the application software for uh, life science regarded as very important area and emerging area. Using that benchmark code, uh, we designed the co uh, we designed the uh, the computer itself. The resulting design is shown here. The network is shown here, uh, which is uh, 3D TOLAS and. Uh, in each node has uh, 128 gigaflops uh, newly developed uh, CPU with eight cores. This, uh, each core has two SIMD operational circuit units and shows uh, 16 gigaflops uh, each core. The electric con consumption of uh, the LSI CPU is less than 60 watt. This is uh, the most uh, effective uh, processor in such high-end uh, CPU. This is showing the uh, prototype system. Uh, as you see, uh, the processor is uh, cooled by chilled water using these copper uh, pipes. Those uh, chilled water uh, cooled every CPU and uh, LSI, LSI for uh, interconnect, keeping the junction temperature uh, about uh, 30 or 35 uh, degree of centigrade. The location of the supercomputer center is just a walking distance from here. Uh, maybe uh, 15 minutes from here. Uh, this is the site. You are here. We are here. So if you take uh, the airplane from Kobe Airport, you may see the building from the outside. Although there was no, no supercomputer yet, but uh, so you see the vacant uh, computer room from that building. The building is all the, already uh, fixed, but the surrounding buildings are ongoing uh, for the facility. Uh, of uh, university, uh, to Kobe University and uh, uh, the supporting center 
by Hyogo Prefecture are currently uh, constructing. As I already mentioned that the uh, two application area is targeted as a grand challenge and uh, uh, next uh, our ministry uh, uh, sponsored uh, the development of those applications. Then uh, this is the life science grand challenges. The goal is uh, to understand the life phenomena, uh, uh, which is reproducing life program on the computer, uh, to develop new medicine and medical equipment using uh, the model. We, we combine uh, those two approaches. One is theoretical, analytical approach. Uh, the other is a uh, data-driven approach. In analytical approaches, uh, we have three teams. One is molecular scale, uh, cell scale, and organ whole body scale. So we have three uh, teams here. Then uh, we have a data-driven approach team. And uh, we also have a high-performance high team to, to choose all uh, software developed by those teams are uh, taken care to, to get higher uh, efficiency on our new supercomputers. This is showing molecular scale research uh, team. They are covering uh, these three approaches. One is quantum chemistry, uh, molecular dynamics, a couple with coarse grained models. So even in molecular scale, uh, we have three different approaches uh, from very tiny uh, nanoscale order ones to uh, some micro scale, micro, micron scale ones. Using these couple of approaches uh, uh, from molecular scale uh, to uh, cell, cell level scales. This is showing the um, recent uh, Listen to the result of, uh, of the analysis of drug resistance. This is showing uh, molecular dynamic simulations with uh, I skip this. <laughs> I don't find, uh, I'm not familiar with these ones. This is showing cell level uh, simulations. We have uh, this kind of approach uh, using book cell uh, approach. Uh, we divided uh, cell level, uh, cell uh, to many tiny voxels to express uh, the local uh, reaction in each voxel coupled with uh, convective uh, transportations. This shows organ whole body simulations the body is uh, modeled using CT and MRI with uh, one millimeter scale uh, resolutions. 
These are couple whales, uh, heart and blood flow simulations. This heart simulation is couple whales, uh, uh, muscle cell model. Blood flow is uh, also coupled with this kind of uh, red blood cell and even uh, plate reds. This slide shows uh, the overview of the data analysis research. They are using the best uh, amount of data uh, to get uh, the hidden uh, cell or hidden rule in the experimental data. Two years ago, uh, we, uh, we, in we decided to include a brain and neural system team uh, this team is led by Professor Ishii, Kyoto University. This team uh, also includes Pro Professor Kanzaki, uh, Dr. Usui, uh, Dr. Diesman from Riken, and uh, Professor Doya. I don't describe about this team uh, because I, I'm not uh, expert in this field. So please ask uh, uh, any question to Professor Usui. <laughs> he will answer it. So the point is uh, the point uh, of uh, why we have this uh, neural uh, brain and neural system team in our project is to, to develop a high-performance uh, software, application, uh, application software for our next generation supercomputer and to demonstrate the performance of our new supercomputer. The uh, high-performance computing team is to help uh, those improvement, uh, software uh, tuning, and sometimes they are uh, developing their own high-speed core softwares, as well as uh, the UI or workflow tools for, for the users who are not familiar with uh, software. As a summary, uh, we are facing a time of paradigm shift from elemental analysis to comprehensive understanding in life science. Uh, so we regard that the essential issue is to use model-based one, not empirical model, but the fundamental law. The supercomputer plays very important role uh, when using this kind of uh, basic model, fundamental law. We believe that uh, no single country can do this kind of thing or uh, com uh, complete uh, this kind of uh, project. So we need to, to have everybody's uh, cooperations. Uh, as a final uh, I, I propose to work with us uh, to, uh, to utilize our supercomputer, uh, which will start operation in 2012. Uh, we, we are welcome to your proposal to work with us. Thank you for, uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Okay, now uh, I have a question or a comment. Yes. So I noticed in one of your early slides that the bandwidth, communication bandwidth that you uh, 
are quoting is like five gigabytes per mm. second. Don't you find that surprisingly low for a next generation computer, or have I misunderstood something? Mm -hmm. The f five gigab uh, five gigab uh, uh, gigabits uh, uh, is a single direction. Mm -hmm. We have uh, six uh, simultaneous uh, transportation supporting to every three dimensions. So it means what? 30? No, but I'm comparing it to state-of-the-art switches, which are now moving towards uh, ter terabit, uh, per second, terabit per second switches. Um, I'm wondering why it's so, so small in your case. We, we evaluate the system performance using a benchmark test. Uh, which uh, was derived from the 21 application calls, we, uh, we found that the five gigabits in each direction, uh, six, uh, six uh, directions, is sufficient to, to get uh, best performance. Uh, not best, but uh, <laughs> relatively adequate uh, performance. So we decided to uh, use five. May I ask a second question? Yes. And, and have you any estimate of the loading time, total loading time on, on 10 petabyte for your machine? It's huge. Okay. If once uh, only one job uh, dedicated for the 10 petaforce machine using a single user. Uh, maybe, uh, it depends on the data size, but uh, uh, we are estimating two hours and three hours from disk to load yeah. every node. Yeah. Any other question? Okay, oh yes, that's me. Well, first of all, I would like to congratulate you and the teams with the achievements so far. It's really fantastic that you have a prototype up and running. And uh, I wanted just to comment that you, some of your applications that you pointed to links well in with the symposium we had this morning, where we, are, where we discussed also the problems in molecular dynamic simulations, namely that you, at the current state of the art, we are not really able to look at protein dynamics in what I would call a real time scale. We are n mainly limited to do simulations up to, to 30, 40 nanoseconds, sometimes mm -hmm. maybe up to a microsecond, but nothing like milliseconds, not to talk about seconds. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, our group has, uh, members from our group has published several papers on the same transporter as you show the, over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an ABC transporter and molecular dynamics uh, simulations of such molecules. Uh, I'm sure that will be of great usefulness also in the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, I was very pleased with your invitation to an open collaboration. Uh, at the end of your talk. I want to remind you that the Human uh, Frontier Science Program, they are very interested in applications for projects that use new uh, methodology in a bold and innovative way in order to solve basic problems in, new, in uh, life sciences. And again, uh, congratulations with what you have achieved. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Uh,